Good evening. A fatal traffic accident involving an Amish teenager has some neighbors calling for restrictions on where horse-drawn vehicles can operate. But as Nine on Your Side reporter Scott Wegener tells us, Amish leaders have no plans to change. If the mangled remains of the carriage driven by 18-year-old Daniel X. Stolfus Jr. isn't testimony enough to the force of the collision, the front of Wilma Asher's pickup truck certainly is. The Amish teenager was headed northbound on U.S. Highway 421 at 10 p.m. Thursday in his horse-drawn carriage. For reasons unknown, he drifted into the oncoming traffic of the tiny community of Correct, Indiana. Both Daniel and his horse were killed. Amish community members say he was headed to a neighbor's farm to help work the land and may have fallen asleep. Now, despite the Amish aversion to modern technology, Daniel's carriage was equipped with modern safety devices, including running lights, a horn, and even a speedometer. One of the troopers uh, from this post saw the buggy uh, a few miles before the crash. He said all the front lights and rear lights were working. Indiana State Master Trooper Ben Baston says this is the first buggy fatality in Ripley County. Elders say Daniel and his family migrated with about 20 other Amish families to Ripley County from western Kentucky. The reason, they say, to find themselves in a more rural, remote setting. Danny Matzett says Highway 421 was not a good choice. What happened last night is going to happen again and again and again because there's a lot of semi-traffic through here, you know. 60 mile an hour plus. Despite that, Amish community leaders say they have no plans to avoid the state highway. Automobile accidents happen all the time, they say, and the Amish are, quote, no better than anyone else. Scott Wegener, nine on your side, Ripley County. And Daniel's funeral is planned for tomorrow. Neither the driver of the pickup, her passenger, or the driver of the third vehicle involved in the crash were injured.